Welcome to Drawn in 60 Seconds, where I give you a rapid run-through of a topic in history. Today I'm going to explain some of the reasons support for the Nazis grew between the years 1929 and 1932. It is often said that extreme problems require extreme solutions. When the Wall Street crash triggered a global economic depression, the people of Germany suffered extreme unemployment and poverty. Extremist parties like the Nazis exploited these conditions, promising the people of Germany solutions to their problems. Partly due to the financial support the Nazis had from key German businessmen, they were able to utilize new technology, such as the radio, to promote their messages to ever greater numbers of people. Hitler's use of aeroplanes to crisscross Germany during election cycles was also crucial to Nazi support. Hitler and Joseph Goebbels recognized the importance of effective propaganda, which they used to target specific groups of Germans with their messaging, from the unemployed to the anti-communists to the anti-Semites. As despicable as Hitler was, he was a vital component to the rising support of the Nazis during this time. His charismatic persona, skills of oratory, plus his national profile resulting from the Munich Putsch and Mein Kampf, were key to Nazi support.